Sound affects everything. My body. Uh, it's 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 a uh, it's a non non-material thing which um, somehow affects all my system and everybody's system. You don't always compose. You can uh, you can uh, act as a as a bridge, and that's the most important. And what would this is the way that I'm interested, the, the way that I'm concerned, and I I try always to to achieve. You are a bridge between the whatever happens, whatever uh, between the forces of the the the, the, the system. This cosmic law, which is the one law, anyway, and then uh, you are the British, uh, you are in the middle of that, and whatever tape or whatever. You know. uh, but to achieve that, you have to be in a, in, a, in a certain state. You can't you can't do it because you have a lot of influences, especially uh, society habits. Uh, Feelings, moods. When did you first become aware of your need to communicate through music? Um, since I remember myself, of course, the first time that uh, that I understood sound 
Every object, ev ev everything was related by sound. Nature, everything. Uh, even people. When I see somebody, I, I, can, I can see the sound of this person. The, or the melody, because melody is after the, after the sound. And, uh, I mean, even now it's impossible to, 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 to see an object when I go and walk in the shop or whatever. Um, I always have to touch and, 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 and hit it. Then I know immediately the character of that object. I, I, I know something that I can't explain. I can't put it into words. But, uh, but I know more than my eyes can, can, can tell. You began actually playing a musical instrument, I believe, when you were about four years of age. Is yeah, that right? Yeah. As, as a conventional instrument, uh, I started playing the piano. Because it happens to, to have a piano at home. And I always remember playing the piano. But of course, I, I used to, to touch everything and, and whatever I could find. Uh, special glasses or, or pants or things like that. At the time, it was not conventional to treat the piano the way that I used to treat. Always with respect, of course. I never smash anything. Uh, I, was, I think I, I used to smash glasses because I used to, to, to put water in and tune them and, and produce different sounds. But the piano, uh, I used to put chains and, 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 and nails and <laughs> whatever I could, I, could, I could find to produce diff different sounds. Because for me, sound was the, 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 the first, the primary thing. I was not content to just to play a simple melody. How to go beyond that? I believe that that uh, uh, is is a chain of events, and, and the music is so is older than ma mankind. And um, whatever I do now, it's not now; it's now plus the past. And also, uh, when we talk about music, it's future as well, because music is never uh, is the, the dimension. Uh, music is is a, is a multi-dimensional. Situation is not, not at all. It's not uh, it contains all the dimensions. The dimensions we don't know, especially things that we don't know. This is actually this is what about music. Music contains whatever, whatever, whatever we don't know about. We don't actually. We can't uh, explain. Maybe we know, but uh, knowing one thing and explain is is, is totally different matter. How much has the development of synthesizers and electronic keyboards helped you as an interpreter or a communicator? Uh, a lot, tremendous help. Because you can go beyond the, any sound we, uh, that any, any conventionalist can produce without uh, saying that uh, whatever we know and all the acoustic instruments are, are not uh, valid, uh, I think they are perfect and um, I think they're always going to be there. But if you, go, if you want to go beyond that, like for example using a microscope or a telescope, then you use a synthesizer. I think this is the, 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 maybe the best example I can give for the moment. But, um, see, uh, 
what, what I, can, I, can, I can show you is that you can have a very simple sound like, uh, okay? That's a simple thing. At the same time, at the same time, you can, this sound, you can, you can bring feeling. Change again. Same sound, exactly. Going. In fact, we have a lot of different uh, families of sound. Put them together. It's like the symphony orchestra. It does exactly the same thing. See, in, in, one, in one go, you can have from there to there. It's a different sound. To there, which is different sound. To there, which is different again. Or going to, to crazy things like... I mean, in two minutes we can go through the, the whole uh, history of music progression by just changing a few knobs. Also, what is very important is to be, as I said before, in, in, in a certain state of, of, uh, of mind or whatever, to, to, to be able to act as a bridge and, and cut all the, all the things that can disturb uh, the, the, the purity of music, um, all the questions of uh, fear or value, social values or ego or uh, success or whatever, you know. my heart. something and then, then you can share it with millions of people, then it's a popular success. But that can create a lot of troubles because you, you're going, in order to do that, you're going through this uh, dangerous um, uh, area of uh, industry, business and all that. And the basic problem of business is that uh, Always they want to repeat the previous experience and, and never going forwards. So by the time, I mean, when they ask you to do the same, you're not there anymore because you're not there by the moment you've done it already. And um, that is really a fight. Who's going to survive? escape 
or is it an inspiration or provocation for thought and action? I think it's uh, a bit of everything. That's up to, to the person that receives the music or the person that creates the music. And as, as I said before, the music is, the, is before mankind, so it contains whatever happens. Of course, it's one other thing, maybe the only thing which is, uh, let's say, new to this uh, cosmic uh, law is uh, man's brain. And uh, this uh, incredible a need to change nature all the time and never to be content or in tune with nature more and more and more and more. Although I don't, uh, I don't really perform so much. I, I enjoy them really very much. The only thing I don't enjoy is all the preparation, because you see, when when you you have to perform, you have to prepare that months in advance or years sometimes, and um, uh, it's not spontaneous anymore. And and all the the involvement with the publicity and all the posters and all that. 
and record company and and perhaps the obligation to be successful that's something that, that bothers me uh, I, when I feel like playing in public I would like to do it instantly which is not not possible you see the whole concert situation is, is not is not um, it's not spontaneous anymore. Uh, you have to make it, you have to give yourself all those uh, standard phrases, give, give everything you've got, uh, you have to, to take the public and all that. I think that's, that's terrible. I don't, I don't like that. But you have been quoted as saying that it's rather like having a love affair. It is, it is. I mean, it's, 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 it's lovely to share something with... Uh, from, from 100 people to 10,000 or 20,000 people, I don't know. Depends on how many people are there. But uh, I think we lost the, we lost the the, the, the sp spontaneity because of, of of the history of of stars and and success and and, and all that. Then then it, it's it's more like like a job more than an obligation. More I mean it's like going and, and promote your your album or whatever. Even if the music is not music anymore, it's, it's an album. We talk about an album. We never talk about a piece of music. My new album, now we're going to play a new, uh, new track for our new album, or things, things like that. And, and I think I don't feel like that, so I don't want to do it. It strikes me that you're happiest when you're alone with keyboards and just playing for yourself. Mm. Is that an accurate observation? Oh yes, when I'm alone and play, or some sometimes I'm among friends and I feel like playing, and then we enjoy all together. Because again, that's genuine. That that's something that happens. It's not it's not planned or doesn't have any purpose other than, than, than please everybody and myself. try to remember something and I say, oh, I should remember that. It was quite, quite nice. A line or whatever, but, but most of the times, no. That, that's actually the beauty of it. It's, it's quite a, it just goes with the wind. Never comes back. Or maybe somewhere. Maybe it's not lost. Who knows? <laughs> 